What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thirds and Junkies, you know who it is. Chris, back with another one. So, today, I went out, went in the back to my tomato plants. Picked about 15 tomatoes. Pretty awesome. Daughter was told not to throw the seeds down, and she did, and now we got a million tomatoes. So, I'm not sure what to do with them. I don't really eat tomatoes all that much, so I'm not really a vegetable person meat and potatoes guy so uh i don't know how to can or do any of that good stuff or whatever maybe i should google it and try to figure out how to do it especially with the way the world's going right now and it's not looking very good for the future <laughs> so um i don't know i might keep this batch and try to google something and figure something out and uh yeah i have been giving them to my co-workers but let's get on to the business on this day's video so what we're doing today is an install, uninstall of your brake booster. We did the reservoir, now we're gonna do the booster. I just threw the bolts bag on here loose from the last video, and I'm gonna show you what we need to do to uh, uninstall or install. So here we go. All right, and tools needed for the job. You're gonna need a flashlight. I grab the small Milwaukee. You're gonna need a pick or a small flat blade screwdriver. I use this little angled pick, Harbor Freight Special. Um, I have two six inch extensions. Not sure if I'm gonna need both of them. Um, you're gonna need a 15 mil. I prefer the deep well socket because of the height of the nuts. And the nuts are actually the same exact size as these guys here, but I just prefer the deep well when working on this. Um, I have a 3 inch extension, this is a 9 16 that I had just sitting here in a metric socket set. I do have my electric 3 8 or a battery power 3 8 Earthquake XT which has the bigger head and then my Milwaukee uh, small. And then I like using this one in confined spaces because it's got the little head on it you can get in there really good. The only thing is is it's not really great for trying to break stuff loose. I don't have a lot of power. The earthquake has more power, but either way, you have to break them loose by hand before you can actually, you know, use the ratchet. So, basically, there's nothing out here in the firewall section that you have to do to uninstall this at all. Period. Nothing out here at all. So, everything that you're going to be doing is going to be under the dash. So, here, let's move some of this crap out of the way so that when I set you guys up down here you guys can actually see what is going on all right and now is the light okay so um let's see here let's get this light set up here and then I gotta do something here with this quick the camera all right so let's see let's see how much you guys can see up in here all right ah, figures the light fell over i'm kind of like laying in the hole in the floor pan and with that being said it's like pushing down on the carpet so it makes the light fall over um let me get this plug out of the way here so you guys can see what's going on all right so the flat blade screwdriver or the pick is for the clip that you see that's straight ahead right here for the rod that goes in here that goes to the booster so that's what that's for to pop this guy off right here and then as you can see there's two bolts on this side and then there's it's hard to see um Here. And then you have my screen went off, so I can't see what you guys are looking at. There's one right there, and you can barely see it right up in there above it is the other one to pull this off. So that's what we're working on. Um, first order of business is going to be pick to remove 
clip so you can unhook the brake pedal from the rod for the booster. So, let's see here. It's kind of hard to do when you're got a light in the way and you're holding the camera. But, let's see. Pull that out. Oh, look at that. Popped right off. Right there in my hand. And then, you just pop it off. Boom. That's done. Easiest part out of the way. And then normally I'd put this back on but I really don't care it's a scrap car junk car so there's that that's out of the way that's done so now we just need our 15 millimeter socket I'm going to grab god it's extremely humid out here I'm dripping sweat everywhere um what in the world I've never had that happen before. I didn't know there was an actual lock. There's an actual lock on this thing to lock the handle, so you can't. It don't. Don't. I wonder if this one has an earthquake. No, the earthquakes don't have it. That's why you always hear it go. Ah, that's why now I always take my batteries out of my tools if I leave them in my truck because they roll around and then you hear this. So I didn't know that they have a lock on them to where you can throw them in your bag, and they actually won't do that. That's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's something new every day. All right, so we are going to get up in here. And actually, if I wanted to, this is so straight through. If you look right here, this is so straight through these wires that I could actually use both of these extensions. One looks like a six, one looks like an eight. Um, it's crazy, but uh, yeah, how about we do that? How about switch this up? Put these two long extensions together, and then we'll go in right here between all these wires, like so. I get on this bottom one right here. Oh, oh you know what I did? <laughs> If you're smart you realize what i did oh knocked over I'm just tearing stuff up boy i knocked over the light grab the 916 didn't grab from the pile of my actual tools i'm using come on chris what's going on it is a hot humid sky it's kind of cloudy i say it might rain but it's definitely humid i don't know what the forecast is because i don't watch the news and i don't watch the weather very often I honestly don't care. Whatever comes, comes. It is what it is. So, all right, we got our light back on. Let's set this up here so you guys can see what's going on. So, if you can see right there is one bolt and then there's the other bolt above it. So I'm gonna go in, like I showed you a second ago, back up. So I can get this long ass extension in here. I'm gonna go straight through the wiring harness that's there. And I'm gonna get on it. It's right here. Crack it loose, which it wasn't very tight, surprisingly, and then there's that one it didn't fall off oh it's just, just chilling there yep and there it is see these are what the ones on the outside are supposed to look like but they're the same same exact thing nylock or whatever they call them all right and then we're gonna go in we're gonna get on the top one crack this bad boy loose Same thing. I'm gonna take the okay, that one. It's so funny. They get all the way to the end, you would think they would just fall off into the floorboard. And for some reason they don't. It's odd. 
they just hang out right there until you actually pull them off. It's a little warm. But there's two of the four. Now comes the fun part because these two here are the ones that uh, are the pain in the butt because there's so much stuff in the way. Like it's so much easier actually to my rib cage is not happy by the way I'm laying with my arm on my rib cage laying on the sill plate. It's actually a lot easier to pull the steering column and then pull this out because you have much more room. But I mean, who's going to pull the steering column to change a booster if they're just changing it out on their daily driver? I wouldn't. So, <laughs> so then you got to get creative and figure out how and what extensions and how short or how long you need to be able to get to these bolts because they are buried. The bad part about this one is it would be awesome if I had a swivel because the swivel I could be able to get back up in there. Um, I left the swivel at one of the junkyards. Um, actually, um, I left the swivel, I want to say, um, which one was it? The junkyard, it wasn't the Joliet. It might have been the Joliet. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it might have been the Joliet junkyard that had all of them steering shafts. Um, I, left the I left it sitting there. On a hood, I grabbed the rest of my stuff and I didn't put it back in my uh, box, my gray box right there, like I normally do. And uh, I, it bites me in the ass all the time. So I gotta get my hands on some more 3 8 to 3 8 swivels um, so that I can go ahead and have one again. Ooh, look at the paint on that pretty thing right there. Ooh, yeah, that two tone, baby. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so what the hell is going on here? Uh oh. Ah! <laughs> oh, I think my battery's dead. Yep, I think my battery's dead. So, we might have to do this. Might have to take the battery out of the Milwaukee. Ratchet. Swap it over to this one. And I have a battery, and I can always use the earthquake. It's acting kind of funny. Yeah, it had to have been the light in there. And that, so, we'll set the Milwaukee to the side. And we'll use the earthquake. Well, with more balls. Funny. The Milwaukee costs more than this, but <laughs> this is the one that has more power. <laughs> Harbor Freight shit. But, okay, let's see here. Let's see what we're gonna do. Um, do, 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 do. I didn't pre plan this, so I'm not totally sure how in the hell I'm gonna get all this stuff out. But, I do know one thing that top one is going to be. A major pain in the ass to get to um, especially where it's at and without a swivel I'm gonna try to get the bottom one out here um, we'll try to use just a six inch extension I might just need the three with the deep wall socket maybe I don't know let's see Maybe I can get on it. That top one, though, I don't know. I definitely, I'm not sure about that top one. Oh, that kind of sucks. I didn't realize I just did the damn. Man, I broke the damn black trim. Uh, Seatbelt trim. It's laying there. I didn't see it. Now let me try to get in here. 
guys can't probably see this very well. That's the other thing about this ratchet, it's big. So I don't, yeah, I don't even see how the hell I'm gonna get that down. Um, I might, just for room's sake, I might, let me see, let's see what size this is. I wonder if that's a 916. Nope. We're gonna drop the steering column down a little bit and make some room. How about that? Let's try a 14. I think the 14 and 916 are the same, so it's probably a 13. Yeah, it's a 13. All right. <laughs> Trials and tribulations. So we're gonna, right here, there's this bracket. Okay. Hold on a second. All right, got my socket switched around. Pull this one off. Pull this one off. Get on there. Okay. Grab that 15 again, I believe. It's 15. Check. Oh, what size is it? Is it a 13? There's no way that's a 13. It is a 13. What the fuck? I don't remember that. Um, okay, whatever. I swore that one plate was smaller and then the other one was bigger for the actual column. So I'm going to drop this one. Down there. Oh, ah, hold on. So this is one of those ones where you're going to have to do like this you have to pull the socket off put the socket on put the extension in break it loose and then hit it Oop. hit you guys with the socket <laughs> oh, what am I doing Should I lock it on won't work. Alright, and then we're gonna come over to this one. Over here. Right here. Little helicopter. What the hell is going on? Okay, and then it should drop down, which it did. Let's see. Oh, God. I'm sweating like, God, ridiculously humid. Oh. Sorry, I gotta wipe my face. Can't see nothing. I'm sweating. Um, it looks like with long enough extensions now, with the steering column down, let's see in there, that one stupid bundle right there might be in the way of that one bolt, but with the long extensions I could, should be able to get both of them. So that's what we're going to do. So now, take this 13, put that back, let's put our long extensions together with the 15 let's see if we can get in here I don't know how I'm going to be able to put the light in here for you guys to be able to see what the hell is going on <laughs> All right, we're going for the top one. Oh yeah, we're on there. Okay, pull that out. Reach in here. 
here. Let's see, we'll see if I can actually reach in there or maybe from underneath I can reach up there and I can't even see where I'm trying to reach. It's probably move this light. I can actually get in here. Alright. There's that one. That's three. Now here comes the fun because I don't know how the hell I'm gonna actually get on the fourth one. But I'm gonna find out if oh there it goes. Oh yeah, snapped right past it. Oh, on there. <laughs> Extensions came apart. Then I lost my light. <laughs> this happens when you're working in tight spaces. All right. So, my socket stuck behind the bracket. There we go. And it looks to me like, yep, stick my arm in here. Get this one off. Oh, here's the fourth one. There we go. Then you just come out here, grab it. Now by the reservoir, which is normally tight. Just wiggle and jiggle, like so. Pull it out, and there it is. Just like that. And that there is how you or uninstall or install a third gen Camaro brake booster and also if you guys are ever wondering this right here is the clip and the metal bracket that hold this piece of crap in here which is nothing but a plastic bearing that doesn't have ball bearings in it and when you get hold of Mr. Chris Hendren my buddy on Facebook you get your upgraded telescoping steering shaft and you get an upgraded bearing that has real bearings in it, not just a piece of plastic. A lot of people change just the shaft and they wonder why after about two weeks, they get the same slop in their steering. The reason why they get their slop in the steering is because the new shaft is so good and tight that it ends up eating away at the plastic in here and it destroys it. So you need to get your upgraded bearing and shaft from Mr. Christopher Hendren, Chris Hendren on Facebook. Uh, he's my friend. You can go on my page and find it there. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Like, subscribe, drop a comment down below. This wasn't that bad of a job, even for, a, you know, probably like a three out of a 10 on hard scale uh, for a day, you know, a daily driver to get it done. So like subscribe drop a comment down below let me know what you want to see um i got some real content coming we're working on ruby in the garage and getting some other stuff done so hopefully i can get that thing fired up timed and get it out of the garage so that i can put uh max in the garage where it belongs hopefully get space ghost moved over to here to right here and build the tent over it so it doesn't get any snow on it over this next winter so yeah, I got a lot of work to do and get this thing cut the hell up and get it out of here and gone. Like I said in the last video, we'll get the Impala off, get this thing cut up, get this gone, get the G6 to the shop space and do a scrap run. So hit me up for stickers, cameramanchris79 at gmail.com, C-A-M-E-R-A-M-A-N-C-H-R-A-S-7-9 at gmail.com. Send them out to you free. See you next time.